another guide brought to you by CJ Solutions. That's www.cjsolutions.info. Thanks for watching. This video is a guide only. The content is intended to be used for informational and entertainment purposes only. You are using the video direction and its contents at your own risk. CJSolutions.info makes no representations, warranties or conditions of any kind, express or implied. You are performing these steps at your own risk. Right folks, what we are going to do today is hook up a coax plug to a piece of coax cable. First of all, remove the outer sheath by running a blade around the outside, about 1cm down and then run it up to the end of the cable. Your sheath should now slip off quite easily. Bring all the outer threaded wire round one side of the cable and twist it together. Now remove the metal screen as far to the wire as possible. Next we have the protective core. Bring it back to about 4mm from the thread wire by just running the blade round it and pulling it off. And that's you ready to put on your connector. Here we have a female coax plug end. This is the standard connector needed for one end of a coax extension lead or a patch lead. Screw off the shoulder. And underneath you have the collar. Pop out the plug end from the neck and set the neck over to the side. Unscrew the clamp screw. You don't need to completely remove it, but I will for this guide. So now put the plug end onto the cable. Start off by putting the shoulder onto your coax cable. Make sure you do this. You wouldn't believe how many times I've forgotten in the past. Open up the collar and put it over the end of the cable using it to clamp down the twisted outer threading. When you put on the plug end, make sure it goes right down to, to the collar. If it doesn't, you may have to trim down the inner core's protective cover so you get a nice tight fit. Screw in the clamp screw until you have a solid connection. Don't screw it in too tight as it rings very easily. And lastly the neck. Slot it on over the plug end and bring up the shoulder to meet it. You'll normally have to apply a wee bit of pressure here to screw these together as you're actually clamping the collar to the coax cable underneath. And there we go folks, one female ended coax lead. Be sure to follow us in all the usual places for updates and more guides. Thanks for watching folks and keep smiling.